The following footage is provided by the Shaketh Media. Hey, I'm so excited to be with you here live on Facebook and uh, wherever you're joining me from, I want to just thank you and uh, I want to welcome you to our online campus. Wherever you're joining me from, thank you so very much. I'm excited to be with you and uh, I believe we're going to have a mighty and awesome time in the presence of Jesus and uh, wherever you're joining me from, I want to just encourage you to share this live broadcasting with your friends online. Um, ek wil jou bemoedig vanavond om hierdie live uitsending met jou vriende en familie te deel op Facebook. Ek geloof ons gaan een goedelike tyd in die jere en het gaan sommer lekker wees om saam met jou te kyk hier vanavond. And we're just gonna gather around, around the word and uh, I believe God is about to do something radical and amazing in your life. And wherever you're joining me from, thank you. And I have this wonderful word I want to share with you. And just a short announcement. We're going to have, just before the 25th of December, we will be having our last live connection, our online campus broadcasting um, for the end of the year. And in between, we'll be having rebroadcastings on our on the ministry's Facebook page and the network. But uh, tonight is actually officially our last um, subject for the year. But uh, I'm so excited to be with you and just to share this wonderful word with you which I believe is really going to empower you and bless you in a mighty mighty way and uh, I want to just thank you for joining and tuning in and supporting me throughout this year um, the Lord has been so good and the Lord has been so faithful and the Lord has kept us through and strong throughout this year and we are in the last month of the year can you believe it can you not in the last month of the year En so die tyd het so gauw voorbij gevlieg en die heren was so faithful gewees en die beding het definitief gegroei en ek is so so dankbaar om te sien wat die heren gedoen het en uh, I'm so excited to see what the Lord has done in your life through this ministry. Every word, every message, how it has empowered you, strengthened you, blessed you, inspired you um, in a mighty way en ek wil nie sê baie baie dankie dat jy my gaan ondersteun het dier die jaar dat jy Daar was saam met my en het soos saam gekeerd rondom my woord en ek is raarig baie baie opgewonde. Amen. And just before I begin, I want just to share a little bit and just go into deep kind of worship. And I want just to pray with you and thank God for being so faithful throughout this year. Amen. Lord, we just thank you for your goodness and your mercies which endureth forever. Lord, thank you for your presence which preserved us throughout this year. And Lord, we love you and I want to just thank you for being so faithful. I want to thank you for the souls that have given their lives to you back. For those who surrendered to Jesus again in the name of Jesus, I'm so thankful and excited for that. And Lord, we just praise you and we just love you. And Holy Spirit, I just pray that you'll move and touch and stir and change and renew in a mighty way. Oh, hallelujah. Come on. I just feel the Holy Spirit is moving right now. So I want to just be where you are and just open up your heart. You can even lift up your hands with those around you and just fellowship around this live streaming, this online campus tonight. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Shiri andal bobo su, tara rabandal bobo sa, kaya handal bobo si, tiri riandal bundaro sa, tara rahandal bobo si, kero. Shi tara rahandal bundaro si, tiri riandal bundaro sa, kaya handal bobo si, tiri riandal bundaro. Ooh, in the name of Jesus. Come on, just there where you are. I want just to open up your heart. And, um, you know, I feel like praying for a few people right now. And uh, I declare healing, mighty miracle over your life. 
in Jesus name those of you who are bound by sickness cancer blood pressure whatever it may be uh, maybe having broken bone whatever it might be I rebuke it and I speak healing over you in Jesus name right now there we are. I want you to open up your heart and receive this right now if you are in need of a healing I'm praying with you I pray that you will be healed and touched and restored in the name of Jesus come on I speak it over you I declare it over you in Jesus name I bind the works of the enemy and I loosen the works of Christ the righteousness the truth the power of the Holy Spirit the freedom the liberty of Christ over your life in Jesus name come on just there where you are I speak it over you I declare it over you I just feel strong in the spirit right now just to share with you to pray with you in the name of Jesus come on I want you to receive this by faith come on all it takes is one step of obedience in Jesus name mighty breakthrough in the name of Jesus healing I declare it over your life over your family over anyone that's sick bound by whatever it might be in Jesus name Come on, hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Man, this is really my prayer with you. And I, I believe in Jesus. And I will say that because Jesus still heals. He still delivers. He still touches. He still changes. Come on. We serve a mighty God. And Jesus is alive. And all say amen and amen. So I want to just share tonight a little bit on trust God in the process. And uh, I want to share tonight on trust God in the process and trusting God in the process and um, I want to read from Psalm 46 verse 4 it says there is a river whom streams shall make glad this city of God the holy place of the tabernacle of the most high I'm gonna read this again there is a river say with me there is a river whom streams shall make glad the city of God the holy place of the tabernacle of the most high who is the city of God me and you are the city of God we are testimonies revealing images of who he is amen and you know I want to share tonight a little bit on dancing in the river as well the Bible says there is a river say with me a river whom streams shall make glad the city of God you know we go through so many things in life so many storms so many trials so many tribulations so many difficulties in life and I think that so many times in life we need to go through a cleansing process baie kere is dit nodig vir ons of ons as die stad van God as kinders van die Heere om skoon gemaakt te word om gereinig te word en Heere kom reinig my hart Heere kom gereinig my gedagtes kom reinig my hande kom reinig in alles wat ek doen Heere Lord come and clean my mind come and clean my heart come and clean my spirit I want to walk worthy on you, worthy in you, Jesus. I want to be just like you. So the Bible says that there is a river whom streams shall make glad the city of God. So tonight you gotta to get into this river. You gotta get into the streams that makes glad the city of God, that brings joy in your life again. Dus so veel nodig, nodig van ons om raar in die rivier te begin en klim. En dis hier kom reinig my jyre. Lord, I want to, I want to get back what I lost. Some of you may be lost the peace of Jesus, the joy of Jesus, the love of Jesus in your life again. But I want to get into this river and be cleansed and renewed and be revived so that I can get back what I lost. Get back the peace again, that joy again, that love of Je- again, the fire of the Holy Spirit again. A mighty cleansing process, a reviving process in your life. And so we got to trust God in the process. It's very powerful what the Bible says in Psalm 46, verse 4. There is a river whom streams shall make glad the city of God. Shout the city of God. So we need to make the decision tonight saying, I'm going to get into this river for the Lord to come and clean me, to clean my heart, to clean my emotions again, to clean my thoughts again, to clean my mind again, to clean my spirit again. Because a lot of times we are led and drawn by the wrong things in life. You, you have a kind of a, a battle in your mind. So Lord, come and clean my mind in Jesus' name. I want to jump to the story in the book of De- Deuteronomy 12 verse 10. And this is what this message is really all about. And this is so powerful. The Bible says, But you will cross the Jordan River 
and settle in the land the Lord your God is giving you as an inheritance. Say with me, an inheritance. And He will give you rest from all your enemies around you so that you will live in safety. I'm going to read this again because this is really powerful. The Bible says, but you will cross the Jordan River and settle in the land the Lord your God is giving you. It's an inheritance. As an inheritance, and He will give you rest from all your enemies. <laughs> rest from all this stuff that was following you and running after you this year. Because the Bible says in Matthew 11 verse 28, Come unto me, all who are broken, heavy burdened, and I will give you rest. And this is actually a kind of a confirmation in the book of Deuteronomy 12 verse 10 which says, And I will give you, He will give you rest from all your enemies around you so that you will live in safety. Because sometimes it brings fear in our life. The word Jordan, the Bible refers to, but you will cross the Jordan River. The word Jordan means signify freedom. I'm not drawn anymore by what happened about me, around me, and after me. What was going after me, what happened in my life, I'm now signified. I'm now walking in freedom, in safety. That's what the word Jordan means. And how many of you believe, and I believe this with all of my heart, some of you are about to cross the Jordan River in the name of Jesus. I'm telling you, the moment you cross that Jordan River, that reviving process, that renewing process, that cleansing process, you will never be the same in Jesus' name. Come on, if you believe it, just lift up your hands and right where you are and say, I'll receive it. It's my inheritance. I don't have to work for it to get it. I just receive it. It's my inheritance. I receive this peace of Jesus, this love of Jesus and my salvation in Jesus name because a lot of times we think that we need to, a lot of times there's a lot of people that say no Brandon I'm praying and but it doesn't feel like my prayer are being answered and I'm going to church I'm reading my Bible you see you prayer is not answered by your good works prayer is answered by your belief and your trust I don't work out my salvation I just receive it as an as an inheritance the Bible the story is is focused on after 400 after the Israelites were 400 years slavery in Egypt and 40 years in the desert as they were to enter the promised land the blessing what God had in store for them they would have to cross the Jordan River this is a powerful key always before a breakthrough a blessing a signified process takes place Always before God is going to lead you, always before God will lead you into what He has in store for you, you need to be cleansed, cleansed of your past, cleansed on what happened behind you. You need to cross the Jordan River to be cleansed in Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit. A cleansing process is a powerful aspect of our lives because we all need to face this and go through the, the situation in our life. How many of you are ready to say, Lord, I'm going to trust you in this process? There is a river that makes glad the city of God. <laughs> you know, what, what makes the story so powerful is that God was not slowing down the process. He was just showing how powerful this process is. Because I mean, the Israelites were captive in Egypt for 400 years as slaves under Pharaoh for, because Pharaoh wanted to be a god and for 30 more years in the desert but God was not slowing down the process he was just showing how powerful this process actually really is how needed it is for us sometimes to go through a signified process a reviving process Lord come and revive your power in my life again come and revive your love in my life again Come and revive the glory of God back in my life again. I want to be cleansed. I want to be renewed, signified in Jesus' name. Come on. He was not slowing down the process. He said, listen, before I get, in, I, before I get take you into the blessing, before I need to take you into the purpose that I have in store for you, I need to cleanse you of your past because the problem is if we're going to keep allowing our past to draw us and run after us, we will really never, never be able to walk in this that God has in store for us. So I need to be cleansed, I need to be renewed, going through a cleansing, renewing process in Jesus' name, in the name of Jesus. 
So how many of you are ready to trust God in the process? To say, Lord, I'm going to trust you in the process, no matter what happens in my life. Because I want to be cleansed. I want to be renewed. Here, come reinig my, my gedagtes. Come reinig my geest. Come reinig my leven, here. And I want to reinig leven, leven for you, here. Come on, just stay, just stay where you are. I want you to lift up your hands and say, Lord, come and cleanse me. Come and sanitize my hands. Come and sanitize my spirit. Come and sanitize my heart. In the name of Jesus. There is a river that makes glad the city of God. It's throwing a party in the river. Throwing a party in the middle of the desert. Throwing a party in the presence of our enemies. Dancing in the river. Dancing in this process. Trusting God in this process. I have a quote that I want to share with you. And I want to leave this quote with you as well. But Because God will open the sea before you and close it behind you. Your past, or what, whatever happened in your past, the stuff in your past will be destroyed in the sea, in Jesus' name. Just as the Bible says it in such a powerful way that Pharaoh and his chariots were destroyed under the water, so will your past, so whatever happened in your life, the drought, the, the drought, the fear, the worry, the anxiety, it will never follow you again because we have been here before. And I declare it over your life in Jesus' name. What ook al gebeur het in jou verlede, sal jy nooit meer, ach, nooit weer achtervolg nie. Maar dat jy sal die liefde van Jesus gedra word die liefde van die Heere. That you will be drawn by the love of Jesus. Hmm. In Jesus' name. Because God will open the sea before you and close it behind you. I know we find ourselves in a difficult situation and all around us things are going mad and closing down and things may be going bad and difficult in your own spiritual, in your own life because of a massive hit something happens in our life and we see an increase of fear and anxiety and depression not sure about our future. How many of you are not sure about your future? I want to encourage you tonight to trust God in the process. Because there's power in this trusting process. To say, to say Lord, I'm going to trust you no matter what happens. No matter how many things comes my way, I'm still going to trust you in this situation, in this process. But come and clean me, Lord. Come and sanitize my heart. Come and sanitize my mind. Come and sanitize, sanitize my, my hands. But let me tell you, I have good news for you tonight. They can shut everything down, but they can't shut the river of heaven down. Come on. They can shut everything down, but they can't shut His promises down. They can shut everything down, but they can't shut the cross down. They can shut everything down, but they can't shut the Holy Ghost down. They can shut everything down, but they can't shut the Word down. They can shut everything down, but they can't shut God's dreams towards you down. His Word will come to pass, you just need to trust God in the process. I Man, I don't know for who this is, but God is about to bring a dance back in your life, a joy unspeakable, where you say, Lord, even though you take me through the situation, this process, I'm still going to trust you in this process and still praise you and lift up a praise and a new song in this process. Man, you need to praise again. You need to worship again. You need to dance again. Sing a new song in the process that God is taking you through. In this cleansing, renewing process. This is so beautiful. And I want to share this with you. But God is constantly flowing. River whom sparkling streams brings joy and delight to His people. This river flows right through the city of God from Most High into the Holy Dwelling places that joy comes back in our lives that cleansingness secondly i want to jump to this god is the god of abundance the word abundant life it comes from john 10 10 where jesus says in john 
9 verse 10 he says the enemy has come to kill steal and destroy but Jesus says in verse 10 he says but I have come so that you may have life and he doesn't stop there he says so that you may have life and have it more abundantly means to have more super abundance of, 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 of something Jesus says it in such a powerful tense and way he says I've come so that you may have life but not just life but that you may have it more abundantly how many of you go through a situation where you don't really feel like you're enjoying your life? You don't really feel like you're enjoying the situation that you're going through. But Jesus says, He says, I have come so that you may have life, not just have life, but have life more abundantly. And I pray that you will be filled with God's abundance and that you will walk in His abundance in this process, in this cleansing process. Ephesians 3 verse 22 verse 21 says the following, excuse me. It says, now to, who, to him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, oh, come on, above all that we can ask or think according to the power that work in us, to him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to us, to our generation, to generations forever and ever. Amen. The Bible says it in such a beautiful way. It says, now to, who, to him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly above all that we can ask or think so forget about your plan God has a bigger plan for you wanneer gaan altijd boe oor wat ons gevra het because he always through every storm every trial every tear every worry every fear every prayer God is proving to be faithful I want to say this to you tonight but never doubt God's mighty power to work in you and accomplish all things he will charge infinitely more than your greatest request. Your most unbelievable dream and exceed your wildest imagination. He will outdo them all for His miraculous power constantly. God always goes behind what you expected. He's a, God is, I'm saying this to you, God is about to blow your mind. Come on somebody. I said, God is about to, to blow your mind because he's going he's gonna to go behind what you expected in this time, in this process. Because God always spoils us in a way that exceeds our wildest expectation level. He's the God because He's the God of abundance. I want to close with Psalm 46 verse 10. We began with Psalm 46 verse 4, but verse 10 says the following, and this is what I want to close with tonight. I will climb up with you. I say, it says, Be still, I know that I'm God. Be still, and that I'm God. You know, I want to close by saying this to you tonight. I wonder how much more God can do in your life if you will just trust Him in the process. I wonder, it's, it's amazing because I really wonder how much more God can do in your life if you will just learn how to trust Him and giving everything to Him and be still and know that He is God. If He could lead the children of Israel out of the land of, of slavery, take them, open the Red Sea before them and close it behind them, how many more is He going to do for you? Amen. So just trust God in the process and trust Him with all your hearts. And don't rely on your own understanding, but acknowledge Him in all that you do. I love what Abraham said. He said, Lord, I'm not going anywhere without your presence. I'm not going anywhere if you're not in this. I'm not going to say yes if you're not part of this. <laughs> mm. Is this blessing you this far? This is powerful. Man, come on. I'm getting excited in this place. Hallelujah. So we're just an honor to to share this with you and just to see what God is, is doing in your own personal life. And uh, I pray that God will go behind what you expected. Come on, man, I just, I declare it over you in Jesus name. Amen and amen. Let me just pray with you. And then I'm gonna close this live online camp campus sharing. Father, I thank you tonight for this wonderful opportunity to share your word and just see how you touch people's lives and transform, transform them and renew them in a mighty way. 
Lord, it's my prayer that you will touch every heart, every life in Jesus' name, that you will come clean our minds, our lives, our hands, and our hearts, and our spirits in Jesus' name, that we will trust you in the process, in this time that we're going through. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. What an honor it was to be with you and just to share the word of God with you. And uh, may you be blessed. And may this word really bless you and empower you in a mighty strong way. Amen. Thank you. God bless you.